I have flown um, thousands of people here in Congo. And to see the faces of these women, I don't think I've really ever seen women or anybody with such totally um, lost hope. And as I'm as I'm strapping them in the airplane, trying to engage in conversation and stuff like that, there was just nothing there. It was just no connection whatsoever. But uh, you know, we did the flight. We brought them here to uh, Bukavu. They went to the Panzi Hospital, and then a few months later, I had the opportunity to fly them back. And um, the transformation was enormous to, <clears throat> to, to s see the same women, because I had the manifest from the first flight. And if you could have seen the age group and the weight, they were all just skin and bones. And to, go, to then bring them back, they had, they had regained more body weight, and just the, the joy and the exuberance and the connectivity that I was able to have was a complete different story. And you know, those are the days for me as a pilot that is, you can't put uh, a high of enough uh, joy. I mean, then you realize what an incredible privilege it is to be flying in these type of situations and the partnership with Panzi. Uh, each year we are treating around 3,000 women here at the hospital. Our vision is to work with Mission Aviation Fellowship uh, to help us. In our project we are really, we hope that we can succeed to get the airstrip at uh, Lemera. Uh, the airstrip is uh, uh, very important.